Hey guys, it's me. How's everybody doing? It's uh, June 13th. June 13th, yeah. June 13th. Uh, it's around like 11.20. 11.26 is what the car says. Uh, I just woke up like 20, maybe 20 minutes ago roughly. Woke up right around 11 o'clock. I looked at the phone. Um, it's just baby and me right now. We're gonna go get some coffee from Claudie's. Um, we ran out yesterday and uh, I decided to plan my day to the point yesterday where I did absolutely nothing before I went to work and then I went to work. <laughs> so I didn't get to get coffee for uh, today. So, um, or coffee beans for today. So that's what we're going to go and do. We're going to go make a quest or adventure this morning and go get some coffee because I need it. And I just realized why I can't see. Um, I guess I forgot to put in my contacts or <laughs> wear my glasses. <laughs> My, my vision is really not that bad um, yet, <laughs> uh, but you know it it kind of gets blurry. I, I I don't remember the exact uh, exact prescription, so but it's it's really uh, minute. So well, for all those that are, that might worry about me not wearing my corrective lenses while I'm driving. <laughs> so um, oh, there's a nice. RS 2.5. You don't see very many of those. Uh, in a great, nice condition too. Well, anyway, as I was trying to say, uh, baby had his uh, checkup uh, Wednesday. So I'd say it's Friday, yeah, about two days ago. We totally forgot to do a vlog, so um, I'm sure the wife will mention it later on. Um, you know, when she makes another vlog or, or a video or whatever. Sorry, it sounded like someone was honking at me, but I think it might have been the people standing on the road yelling for a car wash. Yeah, and anyway, uh, we, we uh, he went in for a six-month checkup. Um, everything's good for the most part. Um, they're just concerned about his eczema as much as we are, and you know, we, we got our allergy uh, appointment set up with him for the end of the month. You know, we've been waiting for about two months at least for this because it's on a waiting list to get in. Unless it's like a dire emergency. If it's a dire emergency, I guess you get straight or not straight on in. But since this doesn't go, um, quantify, qualify for an emergency, um, yeah. So we got put on the waiting list. A a anyway, so um, yeah, they're just concerned about his eczema, and um, and uh, just wanted to make sure that we have an appointment set up, which we do. Um, you know, they did his weight. He clocked in at 18 pounds and 4 ounces. Pretty big baby, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they did his measurements. I believe his weight was in the 65th percentile and his length was in the 40th percentile or vice versa, one of the, one of the two. I, I can't remember. But um, his head, when they measured the circumference of his head, he clocked in around like 90 to around around the 90 to 100th percentile. So he's got a big old noggin. So, <laughs> so yeah, well, that, that's pretty cool. So um, nothing really much going on lately, you know. Um, I know in the I, I don't know if I mentioned it in, in any of the videos. I can't remember, but if you didn't know, I've been slowly studying for um, some Cisco certification. Um, I'm primarily trying to study for a Cisco CCENT, which is their entry level certification. Well, uh, anyway, I did a uh, ride along or shadow, if you will, um, with uh, some of the, uh, or with one of the other uh, system admins or system engineers, what, whichever you want to give it a call because I can't remember their exact um, title, but I, I wanted to say it's a system engineer or a network engineer. I'm pretty sure it's a network engineer. That sounds more about right because, <laughs> you know, it's just going networking. Any, anyway, um, so I, I did a ride along with one of them and uh, it, it was a bit interesting. Um, There's like only six of the guys there and um, or six people in that department and uh, they kind of each specialize in their own thing, uh, apparently. The guy that I, I ended up doing the ride-along 
with uh, specialized in uh, the cellular side of the network, which is cool. Don't get me wrong; it's just not what I'm aiming, uh, wanting to go towards. I am I'm currently trying to study towards the routing and switching service provider side. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit neat to see. So I'll have to do another ride along with one of the other guys. Met 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 a few of the guys there. They're pretty cool. Um, met some server uh, server engineers there, which is pretty neat. But yeah. So um, any, any anyway, uh, the whole point of this me telling you this was I was studying for Cisco, but now I'm actually studying for the uh, Juniper Juniper uh, network certifications. Um, and the reason why is because apparently. My company currently uses uh, more Juniper equipment than they do Cisco equipment. Um, that's the first reason. Um, they, they suggested that to start off with anyway. So I guess you could say that's two reasons. And then the third reason is because it's a hell of a lot easier than Cisco. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm going towards. Um, uh, right As of right now, eventually I'll bleed back over into Cisco just so I have um, a broader palette, if you will. Anyway, so yeah, I picked up my Red Goat coffee finally. In the, it's in the budget. Ooh, yeah, best coffee ever. Anyway, oh, oh, too bad they don't have smell vision. Because if they did, oh man, that smells good. Ugh, I love the smell of fresh Red Goat coffee. It smells so epic. And unfortunately, since we don't have a coffee grinder, I have to have them ground it up. So by the time I get like halfway or three quarters of the way, the coffee starts turning a bit stale and it's like not that green. You know, still gets the job done, of course, but oh man, it smells so good when it's fresh. Mm. If you guys ever go to Alaska for a trip, you know, Anchorage, Alaska for, for a vacation or whatever, one of the places you guys really need to visit as far as the restaurant goes for breakfast is um oh shoot myself in the foot what is it um Hamlin city snow city that's what it is you guys gotta go visit snow city they use um cloudy's coffee and it's on drip and the food is just absolutely fantastic it, it sucks out because there's a bit of a um there can be a bit of a waiting time and so you really got to make the re uh, reservation for the morning so that that generally be the easiest and um, make it a few days in advance if you can uh, you know because usually when we said we go we say we'll call up the same day for a reservation say yeah we'll be there at noon <laughs> but uh they're, they're 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 really good they're they're absolutely amazing uh, one time we decided to order their uh, mimosas for uh brunch kind of a thing and it was I don't I'm not a champagne in person champagne if, if you want to call it that uh, I'm not much of a champagne kind of a person but dang it was it was really really good the orange juice was on point the, the champagne was on point so it's just absolutely amazing so yeah yeah their, their breakfast is really really good the service is generally pretty good so I would definitely recommend checking them out and getting coffee because they use I don't know what it is about the coffee, but it's still Claudia's Red Goat. And maybe it's just the way they prepare it, I don't know. But it is just butt-tastic amazing. It's like so much better than even going to Claudia's and getting coffee. It's just really, really good. I don't know why it is. Maybe I'm just overhyping it and probably I am to some point. But it is really, really good. So yeah, I'm um, on the way back home now. I'm, I'm kicking around the idea if I really want to go to Freddy's to pick up anything, but I really don't feel like it because I don't want to carry the car seat. That car seat's so heavy. It's so bloody heavy. It's like 30 pounds and, you know, weight heads would be like, ah, 30 pounds, blah, blah, blah. You know, I used to do dumbbell curls with, you know, 45s and, you know, almost 50s, but I can't anymore. <laughs> so, you know, I've lost a lot of muscle mass and 30 pounds is flipping heavy, man. It, it is, he's so heavy in that car seat. So lately we've been also kind of trying to bring a carrier with us and uh, carrying him around in the physical sense, you know, not in the car seat sense, but. So yeah, that, that's been making it a bit easier. 
Hey guys, it's uh, June 13th. It's 8.49 right now. Um, I'm at the office on a break. So, just want to check in and say hey. Um, for a while now, I've been wanting to build a, uh, a portable computer, if you will. Um, not, uh, you know, so something that would be uh, competitive in a desktop market and a laptop segment, kind of. Um, it's kind of hard to do that just because, you know, the size of a laptop versus the size of an actual desktop. So, I've also been in search of a uh, bag or backpack to carry it in. So, I, you know, I have the dimensions of the case so I'm looking at choosing. Um, uh, I'll go in detail in just a moment. And uh, anyway, so I finally bought a bag on Amazon today. And hopefully, it says it should be here some time between the 19th and the 25th. So, got some time to wait on, and you know, that's with Amazon Prime shipping, but unfortunately with it being in Alaska, it'll take forever. Um, I ended up purchasing uh, um, a quote-unquote military bag, if you will. Um, the brand is Condor, and it's their three-day assault uh, backpack. You know, uh, the reason why I went with it is just because A, it fits the case, but B, um, so I can carry the other day-to-day -day necessary supplies I feel like carrying, you know, whether it's my um, uh, knife or whatever else may be, medical supplies, you know, my water, because I drink a gallon of water a day, so. Um, yeah, so I felt like going with that for the time being. Um, it was about like seventy-nine fifty-five, seventy-nine $79.55. Um, I got the uh, got it in black is their cheapest one or black was the cheapest color so yeah pretty pretty amped up about that I've just been using Rosanna's uh, laptop bag so it's pretty girly so I'm pretty excited to get an actual uh, uh, backpack to carry the MacBook Pro in and you know my uh, lunch or dinner or whatever whatever you may have whatever you feel like calling it um, so yeah I got that ordered got some uh, iPhone cables ordered because uh, we are we are in short supply of iPhone cables apparently <laughs> so uh, yeah I got those so we can charge the iPhones around the house I've got them like 10 foot uh, 10 feet long and uh, yeah and also ordered some um, razors for my uh, shaver um, yeah so that's super exciting <laughs> So, uh, other than work, you know, I've just been sitting here chilling, um, on MacBook Pro, uh, doing whatever, uh, YouTubing, um, uh, on my breaks and lunch, if, if, what have you. Um, sorry for the noise, by the way, because the heater's blowing, so, uh, yeah, it gets kind of cold in, in, in here, so, yeah, even though it's summertime. It's like 55 degrees out, is what, um, Windows is saying. So yeah, uh, didn't really do much after I picked up coffee. Um, as soon as we picked up the coffee, got home, uh, drank it, made a late, late brunch. Uh, pretty much it was just like a, a mixed greens um, with chicken, bacon, peppers. Um, that, should, that was about it, wasn't it? Yeah, a whole ton of bacon though. <laughs> and then, you know, got ready for work and made another bite to eat just some bacon and eggs and and here I am I also take like a, a 20 ounce thing of coffee to work because it's nice I, I've got this Contigo thing and it's really really nice man like I feel I make my coffee like 5-10 minutes before I run out the door and I put cold almond milk in here like maybe um, 2 or 3 ounces worth of um, almond milk cold almond milk and it stays hot till like 9.30 at night, 10 o'clock even. So, you know, from 3.45 to about, you know, 9.30, 9.45 is awesome. So yeah, I drink coffee up until that late and that's probably also one of the reasons why I stay awake until three in the morning. <laughs> um, so yeah, and that's really all, all I did uh, that I have done so far today. Um, for tomorrow, we don't, I don't have anything really planned. Um, yeah, maybe go look for a Father's Day gift because I have not picked up my father a gift yet. Um, 
yeah, I was thinking about buying some uh, 22 rounds because 22 rounds in um, Anchorage is like super hard to find. I mean, you can find 9 millimeter, 40, 45, um, so much easier than you can find um, 22. So uh, yeah. They probably don't have any, and I have like 350 rounds of 22 just sitting at the house, so I was thinking about maybe boxing that up in like a little uh, metal tin can, uh, buying like a little gift card to Cabela's, and they have these like little um, army tin cans, miniature tin cans, and putting the gift card and some rounds of 22 in there, and you know, it won't fill up much, but yeah, <laughs> or I won't get much in there, but I thought it was a nice uh, gesture. So yeah, I'll maybe go do that tomorrow and see what comes of it. I'm probably just going to edit some videos here and do what I'm supposed to do um, here at the office. And just got to process the bill cycle tonight, so super exciting life. Uh, yeah, anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.